Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix an error that is the required file react native win32.dll cannot be found in your path. Install Microsoft Outlook again. So if you are receiving this error message, then please follow the steps shown in this video. So the first step is to run SFC and DISM command. So just type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt tab, then click on run as administrator, then click on yes to allow. Run the first command. The command is provided in the video description. Paste it, then hit the enter key on the keyboard. And once this scan is 100% complete, on the same window, run the second command. And once this scan is 100% complete, then restart your computer and then try to launch the office. And then that should go ahead and fix the problem. But still you're facing the problem, then run this command. So open command prompt once again. So just type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app, then click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow, copy all the commands one by one. All the commands are provided in the video description. So open command prompt window, paste it, hit the enter key, then run the second command. Hit the enter key and then run the third command. Hit the enter key and it will start updating your office. Now, in my case, it's already up to date. In your case, it will start updating your office. This process will take time, so do not close this window. So, it may take maybe four to five minutes. So, let this complete, and once this is done, the update will be installed and then you can go ahead and try to launch your office application and that should go ahead and fix the problem. If nothing is working, you can go ahead and uninstall office using Microsoft tool. So copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser, which will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down. Now over here, you can see completely uninstall office with, with the help of uninstall support tool. Now, before you uninstall Office, if you have a hard copy of Office, then make sure that you have the license key because when you reinstall with the hard copy, you will need a license key. But if you bought the Office online, then you can go to Microsoft Office website and then you can go ahead and reinstall the Office from there. So click on download, run this exe file. Now, once this is installed, it will show you the office. Put a check over here. And here you can see uninstall office product. Click on next. So you can go ahead and save your work. And then click on next. The uninstallation will take some time. So let, let the process complete. Now once done, you will see the restart option. So click on restart. Now after the restart, you will see this screen and it will ask you to reinstall office. So click on yes. Did this solve your problem? You can select yes or no, whatever you want, or you can simply click on next. Now enter your email address and password over here. So make sure that you're entering your username and password on which Microsoft Office is registered. Now click on start. Enter the password once again. Now it will detect your office. So put a check over here and then click on install. Now this process uh, may take some time, maybe more than 30 minutes. So if you don't want to wait, then you can simply close this. You can open task manager and you can go ahead and close this. And then you can go to Microsoft website. Open this link. The link is provided in the video description. It will take you to Microsoft website. And then you log into the Microsoft website. Click on sign in. Enter your email address and password on which Microsoft Office is registered. And then 
on this page you you should be able to see your office so here you can see the office so you have to click on view product key and install and then you have to click on install and after the installation you can start using your office application so one of the steps should definitely help you to get rid of the error so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel